Science Summary A study shows that five years of cognitively and linguistically stimulating center-based care, starting 3 to 21 weeks after birth, results in significant changes in midlife brain structure in males. While positive behavioral and educational effects were comparable, these neurological effects were much smaller in females. The study followed up on the ABC Darien project, which was launched in 1971 and included participants of low socioeconomic status, who were randomly assigned to either an intervention or a control group. Researchers report that China's CO2 emissions surpassed the emissions of all OECD countries combined for the first time in 2019. Furthermore, the country's CO2 emissions were found to be 9% higher in the first quarter of 2021 than levels before the COVID-19 pandemic in 2019. Another report shows that this increase partly stems from a growth of CO2 emissions from fossil fuels and cement production by almost 15% compared to 2020. Scientists report the first measurement of the density of material in interstellar space made with the Voyager 1 space probe. They also release the detected interstellar sound. The measurements were enabled by waves from our galaxy's rotation, supernova blasts, and our sun that causes electrons around them to vibrate, which provides information about the density of the interstellar medium that surrounds the sun's heliosphere. Researchers report that degrowth scenarios have been neglected in considerations of 1.5 degrees Celsius scenarios reported by the IPCC. In such scenarios, economic output either declines or declines in terms of contemporary economic metrics such as current GDP. Their study concludes that investigated degrowth scenarios minimize many key risks for feasibility and sustainability compared to technology-driven pathways, and that a core problem of such is feasibility in the context of contemporary political decision-making and globalized rebound or relocation effects. The first brain-computer interface that decodes neural signals for handwriting is demonstrated. The character output speed of a patient with a paralyzed hand was up to 90 characters per minute, more than double the previous record. Each letter is associated with a highly distinctive pattern of activity in the brain, making it relatively easy for the algorithm to distinguish them. Archivists initiate a rescue mission to secure enduring access to humanity's largest public library of scientific articles the website SciHub, after the site faced increased legal pressure. The mission was enabled by a copyright infringement lawsuit by multiple publishers and a claim by the site's founder that the FBI had requested data from her Apple account. Proponents of the site organized on a Reddit website to make SciHub or its contents decentralized and uncensorable using BitTorrent technologies. The largest genome-wide association study of mitochondrial DNA, which is inherited from mothers, reveals 260 new associations with phenotypes including lifespan and risks for diseases such as type 2 diabetes. The study, based on UK Biobank data, also shows correlations between nuclear and mitochondrial genomic structures. Researchers partially restore eyesight of a patient with retinitis pigmentosa by eye injection of viral vectors for genes that cause the production of a light-sensing protein found in glowing algae and light simulation of these proteins via engineered goggles that transform visual information of the environment using a built-in camera. Researchers report that bees were successfully trained to detect COVID-19 infections via samples. Researchers demonstrate a new vaccine 
for cross-neutralizing antibody responses against coronaviruses that include pre-emergent bat coronaviruses. The mRNA vaccine was tested with monkeys and is made up of nanoparticles coated with the coronavirus protein that allows the virus to bind to cell receptors. News reports inform about open-source oxygen concentrators, of which some are developed, locally manufactured, and used during a large COVID-19 pandemic wave and oxygen shortage in India. Scientists inform and warn about the continuing threat of COVID-19 variants and vaccine escape mutations. Researchers in Vietnam report a more contagious form of the coronavirus that may be a mixture of the variants of concern first detected in India and Britain. A meta-analysis of randomized trials shows that lowering blood pressure at normal or high normal blood pressure ranges is effective for prevention of major cardiovascular disease. New genetic signatures linked to extreme longevity in humans over the age of 105 are identified by researchers. They include genes for efficient DNA repair. A study and a UN report each assess costs and benefits of rapidly reducing methane emissions. Benefits of fast action during this decade include a rapid reduction of global warming that may help prevent triggering tipping points of the climate system, improved air quality that would save many lives, improved food security, and creation of jobs. Researchers publish the first in-depth study of web browser tab interfaces in over a decade. They found that many people struggle with tab overload and conducted surveys and interviews about people's tab use. Thereby, they formalized pressures for closing tabs and for keeping tabs open. The authors then developed related UI design considerations, which could enable better tools and changes to the code of web browsers like Firefox that allow knowledge workers and other users to better manage their tabs. Researchers address a key problem of perovskite solar cells by increasing their stability and long-term reliability with a molecular glue between its layers. While perovskite solar cells are considered to be a highly promising candidate for renewable energy production due to their high conversion efficiencies, flexibility, and low costs, they still deteriorate relatively quickly during use. Scientists estimate, with higher resolution data, that land use change has affected 17% of land between 1960 and 2019. When multiple change events of the same land are considered, it would amount to as much as 32%, or around four times previous estimates. They also investigate drivers of the land use change, identifying global trade affecting agriculture as a main driver. A UK biobank study finds that alcohol consumption by itself harms the brain even at low doses per structural and functional MRI brain measures, such as reduced gray matter volume in the brain of individuals aged around 55 years. China's Zhurong mission spacecraft lands on Mars making China the second nation to deliver a rover to the planet. Scientists demonstrate that CRISPR gene editing can decrease LDL cholesterol by 60% in monkeys. A study finds that papers with findings that can't be replicated tend to be cited more than reproducible science. Results that are published unreproducibly are more likely to be wrong may slow progress and, according to an author, a simple way to check how often studies have been repeated and whether or not the original findings are confirmed is needed. An analysis of blood markers of aging suggests that the biological intrinsic maximum lifespan for humans is between 120 and 150 years. 
Scientists elaborate mechanics of memory consolidation during sleep, which may allow purposely enabling or strengthening this reactivation of experiences and information. Small but increasing numbers of scientists start to publicly discuss UFOs and investigations of them in a sober manner on large platforms after serious news reports by large media outlets within the U.S. and public interviews of former and present officials and military personnel about the topic due to a scheduled UFO report by the Pentagon. The most comprehensive 3D map of the human brain is published by an IT company. It shows neurons and their connections along with blood vessels and other components of a millionth of a brain. For the map, the one cubic millimeter sized fragment was sliced into over 5,000 nanometers thin pieces, which were scanned with an electron microscope. The interactive map requires 1.4 petabytes or over 1.4 million gigabytes of storage space.